Let's do another Encanto color change. We have all of our Encanto characters to choose from and lots and lots of color change nail polishes that we're gonna paint them in. Kaboodle fans, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the last two characters from Encanto. Today's characters are Grandma Elma and Julieta. She's Mirabel's mom. Let's get started. I'm gonna protect my surface area. I'm starting it off with Grandma Alma. Which color should we choose for her? Definitely this pink. I'm gonna do this orange, which turns into yellow. Definitely kind of like this peach coral color. It went from a peachy to a white. I'm also gonna use these color change nail polishes. We've got this red that turns into an orange and this darker purple, which turns into a lighter one. Here are the colors. Here's Grandma Alma. Let's get started. I don't think I've painted anybody's hair yet. So we're gonna do Grandma Alma's hair in this pink color. I don't wanna do anything dark. So let's just get started and paint this in pink. Oh my goodness. Now the color change, the hair is gonna turn into a white color. So that's just kind of what I'm going for. So just FYI, don't paint your dolls in nail polish if you don't want it to be permanent. It's gonna be there forever. All right, Grandma, get the side right here. And I do multiple coats to really get a great color change. Up next, I'm gonna do this orange. I'm gonna paint her earrings and just some other detail. Okay, we gotta be really careful. I'm just gonna make two big orange dollops here okay perfect this is what she looks like so far she is rocking her pink hair next is this pink color and you guessed it her whole entire dress is going to be in this pink all right try not to get her keys up next the bottom of her dress is going to be in this purple okay let's see here it's going to look really cool all right whoa i got a whole bunch there Try not to hit the zigzagged gray lines right here. And I'm actually gonna bring in this green too to do those zigzagged lines. I think the color change is gonna look really awesome with it. Okay, I gotta be really careful with these. Here we go, perfect. Last little swipe right here. I'm bringing out the orange again because we gotta get these keys and these pictures that she always carries around. Now she needs to dry. Let's go on. Up next is Julieta. She heals with her food. So of course they had to include a bowl. She's got some greens or herbs in her pockets. What color should we do for her? Of course green. Also going to do the orange. This red for detail. And a darker pink. Here are the colors. Here's our Julieta. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and paint her whole entire dress in this green. Now this goes from dark green to light green. And you know what? I might leave her pockets and paint them maybe in a teal color. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I'll do her sleeves in a different color too. Okay, I got to be very careful and... Work around her bowl and her sleeves here. Just putting on another layer here. Perfect. And I'm actually gonna take this teal color too and paint her pockets in this. And then we'll do the hearts in the red too. Um, but I'm just gonna paint over them for now. Same thing with this pocket. And then we'll add some designs later. And her sleeves. I don't know why, but I feel like Julieta is going to be my favorite color change in this round. Let's do this orange. I wonder what she's mixing up. Maybe some guacamole? I'm going to do these herbs in the orange too, just to add a little bit of a color pop when we do color change. And this side too. Now let's do this red. I'm going to very carefully try to get her lips. Last time, Peppa's lips did not look great. Okay, not too bad. And then I'm also gonna do her earrings in this red because they are gonna turn into orange and that's what her earrings are. They're kind of like this gold. I'm also gonna add some hearts. So I'm just gonna put like a dollop going this way and a dollop going this way. That looks like a heart. I'm also adding hearts at the bottom of her dress here. Let's do a completely orange bottom. The whole entire thing is gonna be orange. Even though it might not look good right now, maybe the color change will look awesome. 
Now I'm gonna wait until they completely dry. It's been a while, they have dried, they are ready to go, so let's color change. I have my hot and cold water. Let's start with Grandma Alma. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk her in the, whoa, that's so cool, her hair is completely white. Lips are orange, earrings are yellow. Oh my goodness, look at how awesome her dress is. <gasps> Okay, I love this color change. Let's quick do the cold water. Now her hair is pink again. And everything is completely dark. Okay, I think my favorite has to be her hair. Let's take a look. I love it. This is exactly what I was going for. The white hair color. Really awesome color change. And then again in the cold. Up next, we've got Julieta making some guacamole. Go ahead and start with the hot water. Whoa, her lips are orange. Oh my goodness, look at the pot. And her dress. <gasps> so cool. Oh my goodness, I did not think this color change was gonna be like this. Okay, let's do the cold. It I think it takes a while for the cold color change because look at the dress. That neon green and now it's definitely a darker green whoa and the bottom is orange let's try this again okay I love the hot water oh my goodness this is so cool and again in the cold it does take a little bit the bowl is orange again whoa <laughs> All right, Kodal fans, you vote. Did you like Julieta's or Grandma Alma's color change? My favorite was Julieta's. I really like that neon green that pops. Plus, the bowl was super fun to look at. These were our last two characters for the final color change. Maybe I'll do a video on all of them combined in one video. We shall see. I hope you all have a fabulous day, and of course, stay sweet. <laughs>